What's up everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. This week I want to do something a little different. Give you some true behind the scenes access to part of our planning process that's been going on for more than a couple months here at the Old Rose Haunted House presents Amityville Horror 2021. Um, behind me or next to me you'll see on the screen uh, some shots of some GoPro footage that I'm editing for this vlog as well as a bunch of different options that I have put far enough away from the camera to where you can't actually see details but as I click through them you'll see or just trust that things are changing. Um, I've got now at least 50 or 60 different variations on design for the haunt layout both in and outside of the garage because remember this year as opposed to 2019 we're using the in and outside of the garage so the entire driveway. Um, just kind of wanted to walk you through some of the issues that we have encountered, some of the obstacles we've overcome, as well as show you just some fun footage, some time warp of us setting some stuff up. This was taken back in July and some of it early August. So it's been a while, things have changed since then. So you checking out what you're checking out, you're not getting any uh, free previews for the final layout of the haunt this year. But wanted you to kind of see how this all comes together. So it all starts right here on the computer and then we go from there. So stay tuned. Today is setup preview day. We got everybody coming over to check stuff out once we set it up to confirm the layout before we actually start finalizing things and start the decoration process. So stay tuned for some fun footage. So 
couple issues of note, as I spoke about at the very beginning of this video. Uh, for starters, I'm sure you saw on the time warp of the outside portion, garage is level, driveway is not. So to demonstrate that, let's take a look at our board here. Boom, level. But check that out. So the panels have to be adjusted as well as any kind of walking surface we do on the inside so that things are level. Because trust me when I tell you, it can get very disorienting if what you're walking on and what you're seeing isn't level. Uh, second issue relates to, not really issue, an obstacle we overcame, the garage. Uh, back in 2019, I had to move the entire front of the haunt in and out in order to get the garage open and close. So when we were working on it, I had to have basically removable panels, which presented its own set of problems. So you look up here, about a foot away from the opening of my garage is where I can put the panels. Keep in mind, they're seven foot tall and they're designed for that reason, so they fit inside the garage. So you look down here and essentially where that white corner is, is where they're going this time. And where this red corner is, is where they were going last time, because that's right at the edge of the garage door. Definitely learned from my mistake and misjudgment in design from 2019. This time, everything that's inside is going to be inside. Everything that's outside is going to be outside. So just something or a couple things to keep in mind when you're laying out and or designing your hunt. It's great when you do it two dimensionally on your computer, whether you do Excel like me or some kind of AutoCAD program or SketchUp from Google. No matter what, keep in mind that your ground is not always going to be level and you should do the best you can to make sure that whoever's entering your haunted house is always level. All right, everybody. Back in the garage a couple days later. Um, one last mention when it comes to the overall design and implementation of your haunt. Keep in mind things like ceiling height, the width of your, your hallways or spaces, and how big your rooms are gonna be once you actually get them built. It's important to not just do it on paper or in a SketchUp type program, a CAD, but to actually see how big a room is. And keep in mind, you're gonna have anywhere from four to six people in a group coming through your haunt, more if you're larger. Uh, so that does make a huge difference on what you can and can't do in the space you have available. Make use of all the space you have. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe to our channel and tell your friends about it. Just a FYI and side note, starting next week, we're gonna be alternating from the tutorial phase of the build to the actual build phase. So look forward to some completely different videos. I know you guys are gonna like it. Stay tuned.